go. Hi, my name is Gavin. I'm here with Nesma, Gracie, and Amanda. Today we we're going to be talking about the effects of delaying first bath time on hypothermia, breastfeeding initiation, and skin integrity for newborn babies. First, we'll hear from Nesma about our introduction. So like many other topics regarding pregnancy, birthing, and overall motherhood, post-birth practices have put new mothers under a scathing light. More specifically, the topic of when to bathe your new newborn has troubled many mothers. Recent material from the World Health Organization in 2013 and other experts say that delaying a newborn's first bath has shown to be very beneficial for the newborn's adaptation to life outside the womb. So why is this a problem? Well, giving a full term, um, a large contributor in the debate of about whether to bathe within the first few hours or delay 12 hours is no longer, um, or sorry, is or longer is the vernix caseosa. So the vernix caseosa or like a cheese like film that stays on the baby after birth is made of 80% water, 10% lipids and 10% proteins. The chemical makeup of this film ultimately acts as a protective bubble on the baby while in utero and postpartum to support thermoregulation needs, skin integrity and best breastfeeding. So deciding when to wash the substance off is very important. After we have gotten some background knowledge about babies coming out, out postpartum, we decided to synthesize current literature regarding the question in full term newborns, what is the effect of delaying the first bath to 12 to 24 hours postpartum on temperature regulation, breastfeeding initiation, and skin integrity, as opposed to immediate postpartum bathing within 12 hours. We use this PICO question to, as a standard purpose when researching. For our research, we searched databases such as PubMed and OneSearch. Our key search terms included newborn, skin integrity, breastfeeding, first time bath, and temperature. Our inclusion criteria included qualitative and quantitative primary research studies published within the last 10 years. Exclusion criteria excluded premature newborns and newborns in the NICU, mothers with poor health management during pregnancy, newspapers, commentaries, or review papers. We found eight studies published between 2011 and 2020, and we utilized these in our literature review. These studies included two randomized control trials, four retrospective cohort studies, one case report, and one qualitative review study. After reviewing these eight studies, each study similarly concluded that delaying newborn baths has a more has more positive effects than negative effects. Delaying new Baby's first baths improves the preservation of body temperature and thermoregulation, thus reducing the risk of hypothermia, and increases breastfeeding initiation due to an increased skin-to-skin -skin contact with the, mother, with the mother and baby. Skin integrity is also increased by leaving the vernix caseosa on for a longer period of time, thus keeping the protective film on the baby's skin. So after um, kind of looking at our eight studies and reviewing their findings, um, overall the strength of this evidence um, suggests that a change in nursing practice should be considered. Um, we recommend that nurses play a really important role in um, kind of talking to the parents. So the nurses should explain the benefits of delaying the bath to 12 to 24 hours postpartum. Um, nurses should encourage delaying the bath, but ultimately that decision should be left to the parents um, because they, they should have the um, kind of final call and when to bathe their, their newborn. Um, and if the parents have no preference, um, we recommend the nursing practice protocol should be automatically to bathe after 12 hours. Um, further studies should focus on effects of which delaying bathing method is utilized, such as sponge baths or immersion baths. Um, we want to see if after bathing uh, 12 hours or later, if which technique may be more effective would be um, interesting for their studies about this topic. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed, uh, enjoyed our presentation. Thanks for listening.